Please welcome cassette tape artist Erica Simmons. All right, Erica, how, how did you start making cassette tapes in the art? Uh, well, I never thought about art until I went to Europe when I was younger and I went to London and I saw the street art scene and it was so vibrant and it really spoke to me. Like there were no rules and you could do anything. So when I got home, I was inspired to make something, but I had no money. So I went through my whole house looking through junk drawers and whatever, I was just determined. And one day I pulled the ribbon out of cassette tape and it curled up and it reminded me of Jimi Hendrix's crazy hair. And so that was the first portrait I made. Really? Yep. Okay. <laughs> So who do you have pictured here? So this is a poster of a Brazilian movie that I'm working on, and it's about a young couple who moves into an old building and they find a mixtape full of love songs. And it's just a beautiful celebration of love and great music, so I recommend it. Okay, so when did, uh, when did this art become more than a hobby for you? So I had never sold a piece of artwork, so I just started putting my pictures online on Flickr, and people started liking them and then sharing them, and then within a couple of months, I was getting blogs asking to use the pictures, and that just turned into magazine illustrations, and the jobs just kept getting bigger. So I've been doing it about 10 years now. Wow, and so let's move down. So here we have the cassette tape coming into a guitar, and I imagined as you string the guitar, the waves kind of bloom and it connects your past, you know, and everyone kind of resonates with that. I need one of these. <laughs> oh, thanks. Because I was a cassette tape dude. Were you? Yeah. Cassette tapes, eight tracks. Oh, yeah. I memorized the songs with the click in it and everything. <laughs> That's right. You know, on the eight track when it changed channels. <laughs> and my love, <laughs> you. <laughs> you had to know where that click was. How, how long would something like this take you? So most pieces I can do in a day or two, but a big, complicated piece might take me two weeks. Wow. <laughs> Let's go here. Okay. So this is a New York City scene, and the best parties I've ever been to were in New York, and just so energetic and vibrant. And I just remember walking home at night and seeing the skyline, and how I've got the Statue of Liberty, and just the buildings, and all of the shadows. I just love New York. Wow, that's pretty good. Thank you. So I was really excited when I found out that I was coming on the show. So I made something special for you. Okay. I know you're rocking the beard now. <laughs> and, and I made sure to use the original Kings of Comedy cassette tape for you. Wait a minute. That's, that's, a tape. Kings of That's the Kings of Comedy cassette tape, yes. Oh, girl, you can... Thank you so much oh. for having me. Oh, the Kings of Comedy cassette tape. Yes. Pippin' ain't easy. <laughs> but what? <laughs> and who? <laughs> Pippin' ain't easy. Somebody got to do it. Might as well be me. Steve Harvey, Kings of Comedy. I like that. That's Thank pretty fly right there. Thank you, Erica. I like that. Stick around, we'll be right back. Yeah. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. You want more of that? Well, don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it. Press it.